Okay, third example, we're going to be using two problems per page here today, so you just don't make the boxes, you want two spaces, okay? Here's first example. When we do story problems, I'm not going to waste time writing the whole problem. You have the document, you can see what I'm doing. So the student can read seven pages of a book in ten minutes. How many pages of the book can the student read in thirty minutes? Pages equals. I want you to make your box and put pages, minutes. You got a time unit? Yep, that's minutes, that's X. Okay, then per, it goes pages per minute. You got to put the Y per X. Well, here's the problem here. You don't have a pages per minute. So when you set up the table, here's what you're going to do. You're not going to do the 0, 1, 2. And then where you keep adding, because you can't, you don't know what your pages per minute is. X, Y, minutes, pages. So here's what you do. When they don't tell you the, the rate of change, the slope, the pages per minute. Make a line up at the top and block it, please. Okay. You want to do that. And then put seven pages with ten minutes. Seven pages, ten minutes. Then put 30 minutes, question mark. Now come up here. If you read for zero minutes, how many pages would you read? I think it'd be zero. So you are not going to make this line. Don't do that. When you start off with zero, when both our units, pages and minutes, would start at zero, which they do, you're going to make proportions, okay? But you got to put your X on the bottom. Put an equals, not a times. Okay, times. Putting the time sign is only when we convert units like inches, feet, and all that crap. Okay. So please put minutes on the bottom. You need to put your X on the bottom. Non-negotiable. Pages on top. Okay. So we know we have ten minutes and seven pages, and we know we have thirty minutes. X pages. Well, then we can solve this. Here's the X. 10 times X is 10X. Then I take 7 times 30, which is 210. So you just have 10 times X. The opposite of times is to divide by 10. And 210 divided by 10 is 21. So 21 pages would go with the 30 minutes. Okay, next one. In the first four games, games is going to be X. I tell you that because this is kind of confusing. Know what X and Y are. A soccer team scored 10 goals. Goals is the Y. If this trend continues, how many goals will the team score in the 18 re remaining games? I misspelled remaining. I have to get it spelled right. So we're finding what goals equals. So you have in highlight games and goals. Now this one's hard to determine which one's X, which one's Y. That's why I told you games is X, goals is Y. Because goals per game makes more sense than games per goal. So per, put the Y on top, goals per game. But again, they didn't really tell us the goals per game, so just put a question mark or leave it blank or something. Now when I make my table, X, Y, X is games, Y is goals. Okay. Okay, I don't know the goals per game, so we can't do the 0, 1, 2. That's not going to work. So I go to plan B, make a line, okay, and then start below the line filling the information. You have four games, 10 goals. And you have 18 games, and I'm trying to figure out how many goals will go with those 18 games. Now, if I played zero games, how many goals would I score in a soccer game? Probably zero. You can't score goals if you don't play games. Okay. So these zeros mean don't make the line. Make your proportions. Okay. Remember, put the games on the bottom and the goals on the top. Okay. So I know we four games is ten goals. 18 games, and I don't know how many goals that is, so put X. 
So 4 times x is 4x. 10 times 18 is 180. So I just have 4 times x equals 180. The opposite of times is divide. And 180 divided by 4 is 45. 45 goals. Okay, next example. The printer can print 12 pages in 3 minutes. How many pages can the printer print in 9 minutes? So pages equals. So you have pages and minutes. I think we have pages and minutes on the first problem. So do I have a time unit? Yes, I do. That's X. Pages is Y. So per, it's per minute, pages per minute. Okay, we, they didn't give that to us, so question mark. So when I make the table, I don't want to do the 0, 1, 2. I want to block off the top part, put x, y, obviously. And then minutes is x, pages is y. Okay. So 12 pages is with 3 minutes. We'll come back up here at the end. Okay, and I've got 9 minutes. I don't know how many pages. Now, if I'd read for zero minutes, again, if the printer printed for zero minutes, it's not going to print any pages, okay? So that double zero at the beginning means don't make a line because you don't have a starting number, so you make proportions. Okay, remember to put your X unit on bottom. You can't mess that up. Minutes, minutes, pages, pages. Okay, so I got 12 pages, 3 minutes. I have 9 pages with the question with the unknown being my minutes. So 3 times x is 3x. 12 times 9 would be 108. So I have 3 times x and I divide by 3. 108 divided by 3 is 36. So 36 pages. Okay, it took 7.2 minutes to upload 8 photos from a computer. At this rate, how long will it take to upload 20 photos? So minutes equals. So we have minutes and photos. Okay. Do you have a time unit? Yes, minutes. That's X, Y's photos. So per, put the X word on bottom, always, and Y on top. That's the correct way to label the rate of change. Photos per minute, they didn't give us. Okay. So X, Y, minutes, photos. Okay, you can't do the 0, 1, 2 without this. So backtrack it, okay? And... Um, you have 7.2 minutes to do 8 photos, and you have 20 photos, you don't know how many minutes. Now if you're not going to download for 0 minutes, that would be 0 photos as well. And that gives me then the go ahead not to do the line, but to set up the proportion. Okay. So put your X, again, you got to put the X on the bottom, so minutes goes on bottom. Minutes, minutes, photos photos. Okay, well we have 7.2 minutes, 8 photos. You have 20 photos, x minutes. So here's the x. 8 times x is 8x. 7.2 times 20 is 144. So I've got 8 times x, so I'm going to divide by 8. And 144 divided by 8 gives me my answer, 18, 18 minutes. Okay, a recipe that makes 12 biscuits. Biscuits is going to be Y. It calls for 2 cups of flour. How many cups of flour are needed to make 30 biscuits? So cups equals... Okay, pieces, or no, biscuits and cups. And I tell you what X and Y should be. Biscuits, it's Y. Cups is X. So per, you put the X word below, per cup. 
biscuits per cup. And again, we don't know the rate of change, okay? They don't give it to us. So x, y, x is cups, y is biscuits. So since we don't know what the per is, you block it off and just forget about the, the zero. Don't do the zero, one, two. You fill beneath that little block, you fill in what you know. 12 biscuits is two cups. Okay, 30 biscuits, we don't have the cups. So that's our job to figure that out. And if you have zero cups of flour, you can't make any biscuits. So zero, zero. So again, that zero, zero is so important because it means it's proportional, the units are. So again, put your X on the bottom. X is cups, the cups go on the bottom. Biscuits, biscuits, okay. All right, so biscuits and cups. Well, we got 12 biscuits to go with two cups. And we have 30 biscuits, don't know the cups, X. So 12 times X is 12X, 2 times 30 is 60. So 12 times X equals 60 divided by 12. 60 divided by 12 is 5. Okay, last example. This one has a little thing that you won't have to worry about on this assignment, but it's worth taking a look at. You can sort 8 pieces of mail in 10 seconds. How many pieces of mail should you be able to sort in 45 minutes? So pieces equals. So we have seconds and pieces. Okay, X, do we have a time unit? Yeah, the seconds, that's X. Y is pieces. So per pieces per second. Again, they don't give us the pieces per second. That's unknown. So when I make my X, Y table with the seconds for X and the pieces for Y, I don't do 0, 1, 2. I just block that part, that top part off. And then I fill in what I know. So eight pieces, 10 seconds. Now, here's the key. You got this 45 minutes. Well, 45 isn't seconds, okay? But you can convert it to seconds by doing this. 45 minutes. First off, I times by 60. Why am I timesing by 60? Well, because I want to get it to seconds. Well, first I would have to get the 45... Um, 45 minutes to two seconds. How many seconds are a minute? 60. Okay. So 45 times 60 is 2,700 seconds. That won't happen on the assignment. I'm not trying to confuse you, but if they throw some, a time unit that's not the right one, you can just multiply it by 60. Okay. Now, zero seconds, if I don't sort for any seconds, I'm not going to get any pieces sorted, so there we go. Equals. Remember to put your X on the bottom, the time unit. X always has to go on the bottom. Pieces. Pieces. Okay, so we got eight pieces, ten seconds. 2,700 seconds, X pieces. So ten times X is ten X. And 8 times 2,700 is 21,600. Now you divide by 10. My camera's about to die, so i got to shut this off or I'll lose the video. Okay, that's the end assignment.